Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be discussing about what exactly is DevOps. So let's get into the video. What is DevOps? So DevOps, as you know, it is a, co it is a, it is a combination of a development and operation team, right? Uh, as you can see, development team and an operation team uh, uh, come together forms a DevOps team. So DevOps engineer or a DevOps roles or a DevOps senior engineer, senior DevOps engineer or a DevOps engineer, they will have a they will have to have a uh, knowledge both on the development side and the operation side as well, right? Uh, so uh, if you if you if you think about the previous process like a waterfall model or an agile model, right? So whichever the model which used to uh, which used to be used by IT companies for development and uh, you know deploying of their application. They were so ineffective and that is when the devops came into picture which brings the development team and operation team here you cannot do a blame game saying that the development team putting a blame on operation team saying that the production issue is because of the operation team and the operation team putting a blame game to the development team saying that the production issue is because of the development team so there is no blame game here we have a one particular devops team or a devops engineer who takes care of the you know process where the developer develops a particular application and after that you know building it you know testing it deploying it and maintaining the monitoring it all of them is taken care by a devops engineer right uh, here it like devops will help you to uh, you know collab collaborate communicate and integrate the development team and the operation team so the benefit here is that you can you can bring the changes faster to the market faster to the customer right uh, wherein the if the customer changes his mind and give you a feedback you can implement that feedback and you can immediately bring that particular result to the customer immediately right so if you think of a software life cycle right any software you develop any application you are starting to develop there are different phases which occurs right so for example let's say a company requires to develop an application so uh, uh if, if it wants to develop an x application first there has to be a planning uh, there's a planning phase where you plan how to uh, how to develop this application and then once it is planned you will start developing the code and you need certain uh repository to store your code so for that we have several tools like uh confluence jira git is where we can store the plans and you can start coding and uh, store your code once you code it then what do you do you start building your particular application as you know the as you know in the in the it market we use a programming language to build the application but the programming languages are not an executable code we need to convert them to an executable code for that we need to build the application because every application will have several dependencies and several packages along with it several variables along with it we have to package it and build it accordingly so for that uh, we do a build process after build is done uh, uh, we have several tool for building like Ma maven and jenkins and then uh, you do a testing after the building is done. you test your particular application code whatever the changes you made does not have any bug does not have any security threat does not have any issue in that particular changes you made so for that we have several testing tools like selenium juni jquery right so uh, we have test testing after testing is where you go for release so you do a deployment to a staging or a staging environment or a production environment it can be done through a jenkins and uh code ship there are several open source these are the open source tools which are listed so you can do a release where you release the changes into the uh environment and then you do a deployment so after you release the changes you do a deployment to a respective account or respective cloud vendor or respective on-premises server and then that deployment can be done through uh docker or you can use an aws or you can use other services for the deployment once you do a deployment it does not end there so most of you uh, uh will have this particular uh you know wrong mindset or a mindset where after deployment the devops engineer work is done no it does not end there so after deployment so uh, so the next thing is that you would have to observe or a monitor using a monitoring tool uh you have to operate so sorry before monitoring you need to operate right so just deploying an application is not enough you also need to ensure that particular application is operating as expected and it continues to operate as expected without any problem so for that uh, you'll have to use chef ansible uh, kubernetes and other tools to make sure that particular application is working as expected and then after that is where you monitor so monitoring is being done by uh, 
different tools like data docs plunk and negios so using this tool you can have to monitor and you also should always uh, keep your particular team up to date or keep your higher ups up to date on what's happening in your particular system so this is the entire software life cycle a company follows when they decide to develop a software or develop a particular application right now uh, all of this as you can see there are several tools I, there are around more than 10 plus tools uh, are involved uh, just to develop a single software it becomes very difficult for a particular uh, team to have a knowledge on all of the tools so that is where a devops team come into picture so devops team if you're doing it in on promises if you're doing open source there will be several tools which which does the does the task for you but if you come to aws uh, in the aws you have the certain dedicated aws services you can just use those aws services and integrating these multiple tools will be difficult to each other right uh, but integrating in the aws is easy it will be by default integrated so you don't have to uh, worry about it so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if you want to dive deeper to any concept then we have something really 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 special for you we have our free class on aws devops for beginners certification along with some demo in this free class you'll be learning about why learn devops and on aws cloud what is aws devops who should be learning about it ci cd pipelines you'll be getting a demo you'll also be getting some hands on labs and job opportunities as well so in order to register for this free class all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash aws devops 02 and after that you'll be seeing this kind of interface you just have to click on book your free seat now and add your event date according to your availability enter your name your email address your phone number and click on yes save my seat Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of URL on the extreme right. Save that URL and I will see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.